Hey, Greg Silver here today on the Greg Silver Music Channel. It's been a while since we did a lesson, so let's jump into one. Uh, one of the most recent things we did was um, trying to turn scales into music. And how you do that initially is, if you haven't done it, is you bring your scales to seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, and sevenths. And um, you can, not your octaves, you can, you can mix them up. Um, start with one, get it down well. This is on a previous lesson, so if you don't know what I'm talking about or you're confused, please um, visit that lesson. And uh, if you do have any questions for me, please contact me at gregsilver.net. Any questions, I'll try to answer the best I can. Or if you're interested in lessons on Zoom, you can contact me for rates and availability. That being said, um, today we're going to do sevenths. What we're going to do is instead of playing them in position, which you definitely try to do, but you're not going to get through them all in position. You have to jump around a little bit. But it depends what you call a position. I call a position basically as four frets. So, um, But you could do the big straight out positions like you know. I call that position because it is so I mean it's different ways to handle it get a decent sized hand like a Jocko hand to really make all this work um, so we're going to go up the neck now play position and this is good to um, basically you know get to know the neck better get to hear the interval better and get to hear the notes better also um, and uh to think of some, the, you know, the bass in a different way. This is something to mix in with everything else you're going to do when you're improvising. These are all the ingredients you're going to throw in. Um, you know, you can mix some of these in and fragments, pieces of them with like, you know, scale approach, you know, chromatic approach, the approaches, um, scalar lines, um, inversions, you know, arpeggios, and just mix them up in pieces. A good thing to do and as a bass player too is to get away from ending and starting on the root. Um, that's a big one. It's really tough at the beginning when you start um, trying to improvise or solo mostly um, because you're so bass orientated in, into the root. But um, the root's definitely good. And it's, you know, you could play the root for a while. I mean, that's, um, you could get a great player with great phrasing and tone like Marcus Miller and said, I'd sit there and have him play like a, an open E or a C for like an hour because <laughs> you see the feel he put into all of it, you know. Um, so we're going to do just one major two minor Diatonic comedy, going up the neck. That's in a previous lesson if you don't understand. Um, so we'll go like this. Let's see what we go. Then you can play in descending if you want to. Okay, I'm plucking those like thumb first, finger. You can, you can, you can, um, you know, pluck. You know, pluck them that way, or pluck them. You know, could do it first. like that kind of thing. I just tend to go with like, like that kind of chordal thing. It's good for improvisation too. I mean, that's so if I ever see major chord, these do help your ear also. C major seven. So if you hear that. Okay, you start to hear like a um, little flub on that <laughs> through an A and I don't see it. But, um, so it's good, you know, it starts to help you with the harmony, you know, hearing intervals, but mostly hearing the combination of the color of the notes together. That's first and foremost and key. Charlie Vanakis taught me that because um, I was always taught to learn your training in, in intervals. And, you know, you can do that and you get to understand intervals and how they sound. But to hear two notes sound, the color of them together, or one note, or three notes, etc., is real, real, real ear training to, to hear that way. You hear a note, you know what it is. And if you know, you, you can respond quickly. It's just your, your ears tuned in. You can listen to something, just follow up with somebody and play. Um, that's the goal. That, that's the goal to do. In, in an ultimate world, at the highest levels, that's basically just be sitting there listening to somebody play something, go up and then play it. Um, that's something I'm going to shoot for for the rest of my life. <laughs> depending, what it, depending what it is, though. I got to mention that. Depending, but I'm thinking like, you know, the stuff I'm, I'm listening to. Um... So you can do that, but the thing to do too is you can mix them up. Now, like I said before, you know you can mix these in intervals and versions. It's all part of what's going on, and uh, but you can start in different areas. Like don't start on the root, you know, and you don't have to start them in order. 
but I'm, I'm gonna for now because we're just starting out. So I'm starting with the D that time. You know, standing on the third. Or I could start on this on the on the th on the third. But then instead of going to the fourth, I'll hit. So you're gonna that's gonna sound kind of like for a second, but. But it's a chordal approach. So that sounds kind of cool. Okay, just turn the nice and slow so you can hear what's going on. Um, start them slow, start them in all the keys, and as you can hear, I'm not playing like... Like... One and two and three and four. Which I suggest definitely to do at the beginning. You want to make sure you get these locked in and in time. And start them slow and clear without the metronome, then add the metronome. Um, get any questions about that, just ask Jeff Berlin. Jeff Berlin. <laughs> Jeff Berlin. Jeff Berlin. You know, they'll, uh, they'll set you straight on that. Um, so try them in different ways, and just can hear I'm phrasing. I'm going what? And when you practice scales, arpeggios, whatever you're doing, phrase. Don't be afraid to phrase. Swing. Do whatever you're gonna do, but do it in time. That's the key. Do it in time. And by the feedback coming out of the microphone, it's telling me I'm gonna wrap this lesson up. So have a great day. Keep practicing, and um, hang in. Hope to see you soon.